Idaho teachers have been through a lot over the last two years, and Idaho lawmakers say they want to do what they can to support them. They say that socially and financially. A proposed bill would do the latter by letting teachers keep more of their paycheck. So how? Well, it would change their health insurance benefits in a really good way for educators, we're told. Here's Joe Paris with an explanation of what some are calling game-changing legislation. Proposed legislation at the Idaho State House aims to keep more money in the pockets of teachers. How? By upgrading school district employees' health care coverage to the same level as state employees. I've actually been working on it for about three years, three and four years. Um, uh, when I first came in the legislature, I always wondered why teachers didn't have the same benefits as state employees. My benefits were so much better than teachers and the teachers in my area. Republican Representative Rod Furness is sponsoring the legislation. He says over the last few years, he's been to at least 100 meetings about his idea and collected data across Idaho on teacher benefits. Furness says his proposal would free up money that teachers are using now to cover insurance. Using the Emmett School District as an example, Furness explains the difference between current health insurance for teachers and what is proposed. We have a $2,500 deductible. To be on the plan in Emmett is $1,100 uh, for a family. If they go on the state employee plan, uh, that'll save them about $700 a month. That'll be a raise to those teachers and staffers in Emmett. The proposed bill creates a dedicated fund to power the program. Lawmakers would still need to vote on another bill appropriating funds. To help pay for the idea, though, the bill would get rid of a current program that gives bonuses to teachers who take on extra leadership roles at school. Right now, that program costs about $20 million a year, so that money would be used to help pay for the idea. It's just amazing that we can do this for our teachers. Democrat Representative Sally Toon is a career teacher and education advocate. She was excited to see the bill pass the Idaho House with major support. She says this will greatly help rural school districts who simply don't have the insurance buying power that West Ada or Boise school districts may have. Every school district and school boards will have that option, but this is an option that is a good option. It's not a $6,000 deductible. This is competitive and it makes our salaries truly go further in our world. Kitchen staff to our janitorial staff, our bus drivers to our certified teachers and administrators, this is going to be a great opportunity for them to start to get a quality insurance that's affordable. It's going to put money right back into their pocket. Lane McAnally is the president of the Idaho Education Association. IEA has advocated for better salary and benefits for Idaho school staffers. This, they say, will make a major difference. We know right now our classified staff, they, they're they living paycheck to paycheck, and some of our certified staff are as well. So to do anything that we can to put more money back into educators' pockets is greatly beneficial. Supporters of the bill say this will also help address another issue, keeping valuable Idaho teachers and school staff in state. I live near the, the Wyoming border. I'm probably 60 miles from the Wyoming border. I've, I've seen quality individuals drive that and receive higher pay. Uh, this bill will help those teachers stay in the areas where they live, where they know the children, where they can do the best uh, teaching that they can do, and, and this will be good for Idaho. All right, Joseph, so uh, attracting and retaining those teachers is obviously a big part of this. You mentioned that $20 million that could be used to pay for it, but is that going to be enough? And what are other people saying that maybe this won't be enough? So that $20 million on its own from that program would not pay for all of this altogether. However, the governor did essentially include this idea in his budget. Representative Fern is telling me that last year he brought the idea to the state house, but it really wasn't in the governor's budget, so it didn't work out. There was an idea last year about possibly slashing some teacher pay to, to pay for better health insurance benefits. But with the influx of cash into the state of Idaho and with a large surplus and in the governor's budget, there's really a lot of money, millions of dollars for uh, improving education and really improving conditions for educators. There is a lot of support at the state house that there is the money to do this. Mm -hmm. However, Brian, anytime we have something like this, whether it be education or anything, there will always be select lawmakers that say maybe this isn't the best use of funds. Is there another way to do this? That's right. That's the refrain you hear anytime there's brought there. Anybody brings up another government program. That's true. So a few more hurdles it has to go over. We'll see. Thanks, Joe.